Yo, what's good, y'all boys? It's Dub Man. Today I'm coming at you with another reaction video. Today I'm reacting to Larry Bird trash talking. Now look, it's I'ma do I'ma do another uh, Larry Bird reaction. I really want to see him versus Jordan. That's what I'm really that like. That's what y'all was telling me to look at in the comments. But I seen like people telling me to react to his trash talking more. But that Jordan versus Larry Bird, I gotta see that. I gotta see that from the way that the video was going. I thought it was Larry Bird versus Magic Johnson more, but bro, that's on the way. But man, when it come to trash talking in the NBA, bro, like that, like trash talking in basketball, I really feel like that's just something that's supposed to happen. You know what I'm saying? I feel like now, bro, like I really don't watch the NBA now. I'm not gonna lie, the only way I'll watch it is like in the playoffs, and I probably won't watch it this year because the Lakers are not making it if they keep playing like this. But man, look, what I will say. I feel like everybody in NBA now they always trying they trying to be friends like they want to follow back on Instagram or something, bro. Basketball is supposed to be competitive. I, if I'm out on the court, we're not friends. I'm saying whatever. I'm just not gonna talk about your kids or your family or none of that. If Larry Bird talking about people's family, that man built different. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but man, I'm ready to get into this. I love some trash talk. I love trash talk. But man, like I said, I'm ready to get into this, man. If you're new, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below which you want me to react to next. And don't forget to follow my Instagram at tb.dug. Yeah, man, let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, yeah, and I want y'all to answer this question. Please don't be biased if you're, like, you know, older or something. I want y'all to rank these three. Nah, four, four. Because two for my generation. Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James. Y'all put them in order. That, that, that's, that's all I want y'all to do. So we playing him in the last the last play. He says uh, to James Worthy, he says, you guys don't have to worry about it. I'm going to go right over there to that corner. <laughs> he said, they're going to set a screen for me. We're taking the ball out. He said, I'm going to curl right over. And he's telling us to play. I believe he's it, man. He's telling us to play. I've seen that man highlights. I'm going to go right crazy. over to that corner, and I'm going to catch it, and I'm going to shoot it, and I'm going to tie the game or win the game, whatever the case may be. They take the ball out, and I think it was either Danny or, or, or um, DJ. the late great DJ. Yeah. Take the ball out. The man curled right to the corner. Caught the shot. <laughs> shot a three. Bro, <laughs> that's terrible. Deep, bro. Look, I ain't gonna lie Larry Bird, though. Larry Bird, what I will say, bro, when you that good, you allowed to talk trash. But look, if he told y'all to play, if he told y'all to play, why y'all guarding him like this? Look at this. Like the man curled right to the corner. Caught bro, that's terrible and defense. Y'all deserve to lose. <laughs> yeah, you deserve it. It's like, are you effing kidding me? <laughs> Go to shake his hand. I'm a rookie. I'm playing against the Boston Celtics in the Boston Garden. I'm going to shake. And Larry put both hands behind his back. He wouldn't shake my hand. I said, okay, he's just getting into the game. And <laughs> first play of the game, he said, you don't even belong in the league, Holmes. And he Holmes? shoots for three. Now, I wasn't mad. Hold on, my boy Larry said, Holmes? Now, nah, where Larry from to be saying Holmes? Holmes? Where Larry, where Larry said, Bird okay, from? He's just getting into the game. And <laughs> first play of the game, he said, you don't even belong in the league, Holmes. Holmes, bro, that's crazy. Now, I wasn't mad that he made the three. But I said, did this some bitch this called me Holmes? <laughs> like, where Larry Bird from? <laughs> and, he, and he came down and did it again, so I'm pissed, you know. I would, so too. So next time down, see me on the break net pitch, and I jump up, and I throw it down on him. Right? I mean, he fouls me. And he said, hey, Rook, I like you. You got heart. He said, but I'm still getting 30 on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I, mean, I like I mean, that. That's who he was. But that was the only I like time it. he ever talked trash to me. Because he respected me because he knew that I was going to keep coming. Got that to. really taught me something, you know. If you wasn't prepared to play against guys like that, you got embarrassed. I, I, I always tell this, people, this story about Larry Bird. I remember him, he was cursing under his breath. And I asked him, I said, Larry, what's going on with you? He says, you guys are being disrespectful to me. And I says, what are you talking about? <laughs> he says, you guys are putting a white guy on me. <laughs> I, seen a, was, a, uh, I seen that in the highlights, in the um, ultimate highlights, when he was saying he was mad because he wanted the black people to guard him, which is like because I guess they were more athletic back then, bro. That's crazy. Back That's crazy. Point, <laughs> That's wild. I can't remember who it was. I just started laughing. I had no comeback. He says, he says, it's disrespectful when y'all put a white guy on me. I believe he going to cook him. There like, I'm laughing in the middle of a game. He's not very told Robert Reed you got to stay there. He should have stayed in preaching. <laughs> he he should have stayed in preaching? And you know, Larry Burr ain't never playing no great defense. He's like sagging off a little bit. So he tell the guy, 
You can't shoot. But I'm not worrying about guard. You. I said, man, shoot it in the face. Shoot it. That's like somebody leaving you open saying you can't shoot. Larry Bird and uh, and said and said t- said take a look at that. And Bird just came right back and hit three 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 pointers in a row and just basically basically said to him, and we all heard it that you're out of your league. Or he'd say, Danny, give me the ball, or DJ, give me the ball. I got this guy in the torture chamber down here. Why the guy was standing right there listening to him say it. The baller went to last. Hey, Robbie, t- uh, I ain't going to lie. Out of whack. He had the ball at three-point range. He goes, hey, 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 who's guarding me? Everybody looked around. He just stood there held the ball. And I said, oh, he ran out there and just shot it three-pointer. Wait, hold on. What? Hold on. He said, who guarded me while somebody was on him? That's disrespectful. He had he the did ball that. at three-point range. He goes, hey, 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 who's guarding me? Everybody looked around. He just stood there held the ball. And I said, oh, he ran out there and just shot it three-pointer. Too late. Was the originator of getting in your face and talking trash. And then you sit there and you go, I'm just getting up in my face talking noise. <laughs> he ain't that fast. He's slow. But he knew how to aggravate you, agitate you enough to get you out of your game. I was guarding in my rookie year. He looked at me and he goes, you can't stop me. And I looked at him and I said, gosh, boy, you're, you're so confident. He was confident. You're, you're a rookie. You don't know anything. He proceeded to score like 10 straight points on me. The coach took me out the game. He walks by and he's laughing at me. <laughs> the coach laughing or the corner? The game, he walks by and he's laughing at me. <laughs> Larry Bird catches the ball in the corner. I take off running out of Larry Bird. And right when he's getting ready to shoot, I jump. And as I go by, <laughs> I go by and he tells me, he says, fly, Bird. And it, That's right crazy. Him, he shoots the ball. It's nothing but nylon. That's Larry crazy. Larry Bird was a pain in the neck. Anytime we had a chance to win, Larry Bird changed that. Larry Bird. <laughs> there was a certain confidence you had because, you know, if you ever got in trouble, give the ball to Larry and get out of his way. And he delivered Double team in Bird. Larry, follow away. I remember that play. I remember that play from the highlights. Bro, once again, terrible defense, bro. Look at this. Look at this. It's Larry Bird. I don't know who to do this right here, but bro, like, you're not worried about him. If Larry Bird is in the corner, if Larry, if it's to win the game, two seconds left, bro, that's a double team. That's elementary facts, bro. Terrible. Double team in Bird. Larry, follow That's terrible. Terrible defense. Do you remember? Well, you had the bird night. I had the bird night. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was a tough night, man. That, that, you know, the biggest argument that night is, uh, well, you only scored six on me. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But did, you, nobody was guarding bird, were they? Well, we were trying. You were trying no, to. No, <laughs> What's that? We tried. He is literally coming up to court, calling his shots. Uh, and, you know, Bird talked a lot of trash. Uh, um, and that's in New Orleans. That's in New Orleans. And that game, we're on the free throw line. And he's like, he literally says, um, left side over the, uh, across the three, and you're listening to him. That's that's a tough feeling. I never had nobody. Okay, so you guys got Antoine Carr and I had Robinson people talk trash, but like Patel, that, I that's think, crazy. And, and Andy Johnson for celebrating, celebrating Bird. Yeah, it was the best film session. Every time I see, when I see Mike, we still laugh. God, it's it was so a, good. it was the greatest film session. Ever because that back then you didn't have you know you watched the real game and just went you know with a video and Mike rewound the celebration twenty times he just kept re- not the shot he just kept rewinding it showing the guys you remember they're giving each other high five and then and then somebody falls off the bench yeah that was Eddie late. Johnson yeah, yeah that was late. Eddie Johnson yeah. Eddie Johnson falls off the bench in laughter uh, and Antoine Carr and Cliff gives oh the- once again this is what I saw in the highlights. I don't care if we're best friends and we on the same team. If I'm getting cooked and my teammates laugh at me, I'm getting traded or we got to fight after this game. So I'm telling five. you. And our film session was 20 minutes of that. <laughs> That's crazy. So it, it, was, it wasn't it, somebody not playing good defense no. on Bird. It was he you was guys playing good defense. Larry Bird. And Fratello wouldn't let it go. He just kept rewinding. Oh <laughs> That's crazy, <laughs> man. It, it, it was... Uh, <laughs> I think Bird oh. went by the bench one time, too. He fell in the bench. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, he, <laughs> and he called that one. That was the one where he fell in it. He literally said, oh, no. uh, off the glass, into the trainer. And, uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, and so, uh, okay. it was a bad night. And when Larry got on the roll, started shooting the ball, he said, every shot was going in. Goodbye, she's gone. I got the two point, it was too close. And when he ran by the bench, he goes, that's a heat check. Just see how hot I am. All right, he runs by Frank Layden, who's the funniest guy in, in the league. And Frank is coaching, and Larry says to him, 
Hey, Frank, don't you ever bet on that bench and guard me? He goes, well, nobody out here can. Frank looks at the bench and goes, no. <laughs> All right. Imagine. Bro, what? I don't. Bro, forget the coach. Bro, the coach got to fade me next, bro. If. If, a, if someone walked past my bench and talked to my coach saying, man, you ain't got nobody out here, ain't nobody on your team can guard me, and the coach looked back at me and my other teammates and say no, I'll quit. I'll quit. Hey, Frank, don't you have anybody on that bench can guard me? He goes, well, nobody out here can. Frank looked at the bench and goes, no. Bro, that just showed, that just showed how good this man was, though. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I just thought nah, he reacted to him, man. Like, hey, I already know he was a beast back there. call somebody else. I even heard him tell, uh, tell the coach, hey, look, coach, you better get somebody else out here to grab me because I'm killing this guy. <laughs> In last year's playoffs, Person was out to make I done said that a couple times. words while adding a few choice comments of his own. Chuck Person, he definitely has his reputation. During the playoffs, he just went AWOL, you know, and he just went to work. That, that man, that's wrong. And he looked at him. That's crazy. I like that. I like that. Yeah, it is a little special because um, I've known Chuck for a while and we always had run ins, but um, it always seems like I, I get the last word. <laughs> I like that. His ability to get the final word is made for many a magic moment. And this week, we relive a game when Larry was in rare form, and Xavier McDaniel was eager to lend an ear. Tie game, 13 seconds to play, Celtics basketball, no shot clock. He called the time off, he said, you know I'm going to get it. And I said, I know I'm going to be waiting. And I'm going to time out, I'm going for a play, and I try this for my run. All right, uh, then she got the ball, you go over here, and... Uh, uh, you, uh, pass to Kevin, then you go to the corner, and Robert, you come over, then about that time, Larry steps in and says, uh, Coach, uh, why don't you just give me the ball and tell everybody to get out of the way? <laughs> no. Hey, that's a real, that's a... We walk back on the court. That's a go. Not a go line. So he tells the baby, he says, I'm getting the ball. Yeah, he said, I'm going to get it right here. I'm going to shoot it right in your face. Like, I didn't mean to leave two seconds on the clock. I see. Bro, I done heard all type of trash talk. It's one thing. It's one thing to trash talk. You know what I'm saying? Like people, people usually trash talk when they up. You know what I'm saying? I don't really look. I don't really count them as like goats and all that. But look, to trash talk, to call out a play and say, "Oh, bro, I'm gonna I'm hit a shot from right here." You know what I'm saying? Like to end the game, to win the game. And then you hit it on multiple occasions. Bro, I, I really bro from bro from just him from just seeing this. If Larry Bird is not this close to being up there with Michael Jordan, I gotta I gotta react to Michael Jordan highlights. Like more oh, of his highlights. Because Larry Bird crazy. Damn. Larry Bird just phenomenal the way that he will contribute in the clutch time. Larry was complaining to the refs, and I was complaining to the refs, and the next time down the court, it got in my face. I was up 38 to 6. That's how I summarize it. <laughs> the 84 Olympic team was playing an exhibition game against a bunch of pros, including Larry Bird, and they were in the warm-ups. And a ball bounced down from the college end of the court to the pro end. And Michael Jordan went down to chase it. The ball happened to be picked up by Larry Bird. And Michael went up a few feet away from Larry Bird and held out his hands. And Bird took the ball and fired it back down the court over Jordan's head. As if to say, you're not only not getting this ball, I don't give a damn who you are. Larry Bird knows exactly who this guy is and what's going to happen in the next few years. And he wants to get every edge he can get right now. I got a pool hamstring. Oh. The 
the fact that he said that to Michael Jordan, and then I read in the comments, y'all said in the playoffs, y'all said in the playoffs, Larry Bird was 6-0 and against Jordan. Y'all got to explain to me how Jordan better than Larry Bird. I got to, no, I got to react. I got to react to them going at it because from what I'm hearing, I ain't going to say it because y'all already mad at me for saying LeBron better than Jordan. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't going to get on it. So I'm not playing tonight. He walks down to me. Man, I'm sorry you're not playing, but I, he said, I'm going to tell you what. Since you're here, I'm going to put a show on for you. So you just sit back and watch, okay? <laughs> and I'm like, man, get out of my face, man. I want to hear that. You know, that's Celtics and the Lakers. Every time he hit one, he look at me. No, I'm playing on my stuff. I'm playing. playing. I don't uh, care if I'm Washington hurting or not. In Washington one night, and Larry just hit what would have been the game when he shot. But KC called timeout. I remember this. I remember this. Boston had called a timeout. Larry came back to the bench, and you know he was a little upset. He looks at uh, the bench. He says, uh, "Hey guys, when I come back after timeout, I'm gonna go right to the same spot. And I'm gonna kick it in." He told Washington, "I'm gonna get the ball." Two seconds left. The, the fact that he keep one. doing this to different teams is crazy. Bird, he gets a good shot in the Boy, this is something else. They walk right off the court. I wouldn't want to shake his hand either after saying that to me. Look. But look. To me, I'm not going to lie. Dang, what did I just do? It's a lot of stuff. Y'all got to explain to me how Jordan is better than Mike. Uh, Y'all got to explain to me how Michael Jordan is better than Larry, uh, Larry Berry. Not gonna lie, and if you finna say rings, I don't want to hit that. The fact that he beat him six times in the playoffs, six and oh against him in the playoffs, or something y'all said, y'all gotta explain to me how he better. I'm not gonna lie, cause from what y'all saying in the comments, it sounds like Michael Jordan couldn't beat Larry Bird. But man, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will for sure be using some of the stuff that he be saying the next time I play basketball. Don't forget to follow my Instagram at tb.dub. And yeah, man, I'm out.